synthesis, decomposition, uh, single replacement, and double replacement so far. Um, and so actually I want to keep this up on the board and say that there's a special case of this. So let's erase some stuff here for a second. Um, the special case is called acid-base reactions. And it's still a double replacement reaction, but it has slightly different symbols. If we take an acid, and so far we've only said acids always begin with an H, so and then let's say, uh, like we just put a mystery X next to that H because it's a random acid, and we want to add a base. And bases begin with a metal and end with OH. And what you're going to see is that the H, just like we saw before, is going to pick up that since we were talking about foil, and will form water. And all acid-base reactions will form water and a binary compound, in this case XY, which is a salt. So all acid-base base reactions will form a water and a salt. So let's take a typical one um, that will literally produce water and salt. If we took hydrochloric acid and added sodium hydroxide to it, we would produce water, H2O, when this H and the OH over here hook up, and we would produce NaCl, salt. Um, is NaCl the only salt that can be produced? No. Anything that is, a, it is an ionic compound that is formed when an acid and a base react with each other, it's called a salt. So um, before I put up potassium iodide, that, would, that could be a salt. Lead nitrate could have been a salt anytime an acid and a base come together. Okay, so let's look at, oops, I get my tool out here. Um, let's look at the last reaction type. Right here, bring them up. And you might say to yourself, at first glance, isn't this just double replacement? But what I want to point out here is these are twins. So before we had couples that were boy-girl. So in chemistry terms, they were really metal, non-metal, right? But this is not a metal, non-metal twin. This is actually an oxygen. Okay, so what we're going to have is oxygen plus some new thing, and it's going to put oxygen in everything. And to tell you the truth, I don't really have a social interaction for this one. Um, it's just too weird. Uh, but what it's called in chemistry terms is oxidation or combustion. Burning. The process of burning adds oxygen to every piece of the, um, the material that's being oxidized or burned. So let's do it in terms of symbols. So we're going to have O2 plus AB goes to A with some oxygen and B with some oxygen. Okay, so an example of this might be, let's say we took some methane, CH4, and added oxygen to it. So we literally take some methane, blow it into the air, and then light a match. So the oxygen in the air will start to react with the methane, and we'll get carbon dioxide and water. So the oxygen attacks the H and forms a stable uh, HO compound, water, and the oxygen attacks the carbon and forms a nice stable carbon compound called carbon dioxide. Um, again, anytime you have oxygen plus a compound, you will produce uh, multiple products that all have oxygen added to them. Okay. We can go further and talk about complete combustion. And the reaction up here uh, is an example of complete combustion because complete combustion always involves uh, everything being re oxidized so that it is completely loaded with as much oxygen as it will take. Okay. What you normally see when you build a fire or uh, if you light a candle, a candle is what's called incomplete combustion. And incomplete combustion is when you get uh, part of the material doesn't completely get oxygen jammed onto it, and so you might wind up with additional material as, as well as the individual elements with oxygen attached. 
Okay. Now I want you to try some on your own. So I'm going to flash up some reactions here and I want you to try them. So here we have five reactions and I want you to take a second, read through them and try and figure out what kind of reaction are they. So pause the video for a second, think through them and stop back in a minute. Okay, this first reaction we start off with two reactants and we wind up with one product. If we wind up with one product, that's a synthesis reaction. Here, we've got element bonding with compound, making new compound and an element. So what we have is an exchange of elements, so that is a single replacement. Here, we start off with one reactant making multiple products, so that's got to be a decomposition. And if we did in words, carbon disulfide burns in air. That's going to be a dead giveaway that what we're going to see is a combustion or an oxidation reaction. If I wrote it out, you could see carbon disulfide, so CS2, burns in air, goes to carbon dioxide plus sulfur dioxide. So again, we've got oxygen attacking the S and oxygen attacking the C, making carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. And then lastly, we've got nitric acid reacting with barium hydroxide. So right away, acid hydroxides are always bases, so we're going to produce a salt and water. What is this? This is an acid-base reaction, or you could call it a double replacement. Oops. Okay, if I wrote it out, nitric acid plus barium hydroxide, barium OH2, is going to go to barium nitrate plus water. So here's my water, and this, barium nitrate, is my salt. Okay, good luck, everybody. 